afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to our eighth grade end of year awards recognition. At this time, if you could join us in the Pledge of Allegiance led by Mr. Bostic. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bostic. Good afternoon, Eastwood family, and welcome to the eighth grade end of year awards ceremony and recognitions. I'm James Totten, principal of this wonderful school. And today we celebrate you, our students. I've spent a lot of time thinking about this group of young men and women who, when you entered our building, you saw a very different building in very different times. While you have encountered the, while you have entered the doors wide open and you have grown in ways none of us could have imagined in a very short three years, this group of students will have memories of how this building was before construction and how it has changed. This group of students will have memories of middle school before our community was shaken by the novel coronavirus 19 and how we have changed. Additionally, I think of the impact of such a devastating event on our young group of students. How will you grow? How has your trajectory changed? Yes, I can imagine this group of students will have some significant barriers and obstacles to overcome that no groups have ever had prior. It seems certain, but I think that you have in many cases overcome so much already. This tech savvy generation has sharpened your skills. You have learned flexibility and the skill of adaptation. Our students have developed skills related to self-advocacy in many cases, and many have increased their responsibilities. You have become more resilient than we could ever have believed. So what is next? While this evening we will be celebrating the collective and individual efforts, I would ask that you engage. I would ask that you join in the work of furthering yourself, furthering your education, and furthering your impact. One thing that we have learned in this past year is that our voices matter. Change can happen and I believe firmly that our students are often the greatest contributors to making the world a better place in which to live. As you move forward to North Central or whatever path you follow, don't sit back and wait for school to come to you. Get involved, embrace your passion and apply that to, to something that you can be proud of. I was with a group of educators recently and asked to share a favorite quote, and there are so many great ones out there. Uh, do, do not go where the path may lead, instead, where there is no path and leave a trail by Ralph Waldo Emerson. That's a good one. Luck is the residue of design. John Milton, it's another good one. The great thing in this world is not so much where you stand as in what direction you are moving. Oliver Wendell Holmes. And the great William Gretzky had, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And these are great quotes. And there are some other ones that I haven't shared certainly that are phenomenal as well. The one that I continue to come back that I'd like to leave with you now is from a speech given by Theodore Roosevelt in 1910 and is referred to as the man in the arena. It's kind of a long quote. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. But who does actually strive to do the deeds? Who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, or at least fails, while daring greatly. 
so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. So I implore each of you to get your hands dirty. Know there will be shortcomings and failures in your future, but view those at inevitables of success. Do the work that inspires others. Make our school proud. Make your family proud. Make yourself proud. I wish you the best of luck. And at this time, I will turn it over to Mrs. Clausen for the grade awards. Good afternoon, Eastwood Eagles. It is my honor and pleasure to recognize those students that have received honor roll, high honor roll, and a 4.0 for first, second, and third nine weeks this year. When your name is called, I ask that you will stand and be recognized. Please hold your applause until all students have been called, and then we will applaud all of you. For honor roll, please stand if your name is called. Lucy Allen, Constance Barnwell, Zole Black, Gwyneth Breedlove, Eli Burrell, Corbin Butts, Amaya Chandler, Amani Darden, Sophia David, Cadell Easterday, Christian Felix, Denim Holt, Destiny Humphrey, Samuel Isaacson, Demu Pakai, Chelsea Knox, Hunter Moore, Barry Romero, Redania Rubio, Lucas Silvius, London Sims, and Amelia Smith. Let's honor those students with our applause at this time. Next, I'd like to recognize those students that have maintained high honor roll for the year. Please stand when your name is called. Ella Angel, Caitlin Ball, Amaya Bell, Shawnee Bulling, Francis Brown, Kiana Bryant, Caleb Campbell, Anna Clark, Walter Clark, Kirsten Clements, Carson Copeland, Hannah Crossland, Alan Coizo, Florian David, Avery Diarman, Grace Dimery, Zoe Deseret, Sanaya DeWitt, Jaden Digby, Jane Didwitty, Ashton Doris, Jack Downton, Taliesin Dunn, Ava Dykus, Cadence Eaton, Kaylee Evans, Piper Beringer, Amelia French, Kyra Grant, Kevin Griffin, Carrie Grissom, Allison Guerrero Hernandez, Jindai Gaimera Oliver, Aubrey Hameter, Denim Holt, Cassandra Hunt, Hannah Hunter, Janu Huddy, Perry Ingram, Grace Isaacson, Ryan Jacoby, Jayla Jordan, Daly Joy, Dulce Wara Zeke, Carson Kaufman, Elizabeth Kramer, Elijah Hubler, Anastasia Laster, Layla Larchiz, Kendon Luster, Saul Ray Lynn, Ted Mannion, Macy Manzel, Kane McClure, Samuel McMaster, Aliyah Mitchell, Blake Knox, Kaylee Wynn, Carla Han, Bryn Hall, Stanley Fort, Ruby Rogers, Samantha Salfrank, Abdu Sek, Marlene Zenobia Bernabe, Kayla Smith, Madeline Summers, Gabby Stevens, Natalie Stevenson, Emerson Sickle, Maddox Ham, Garrett Olam, Jorge Vasquez Osorio, 
Jada White, Lila Wilson, Tanner Wilson, Samuel Wolf, and Eleanor Worthington. Congratulations to those students. Our next group of students maintained a 4.0 GPA for the entirety of the school year. Congratulations to these students and please stand when your name is called. Those students are coming front. Sorry, Mr. Sutton. Okay. Max Bolt, you're going to go ahead and come on up. Nola Boyle, Matthew Chapatal, Leah Cox, Lainey Deep, Martin Drews, Abel Klesner, J.D. Haynes, Nina Johnson, and Charlie Knox. Congratulations. Again, congratulations to these students earning 4.0. All right, and we have a very special honor for four students who have an unbelievable feat of accomplishing 4.0 for all three years, grade six grade seven and grade eight. That's right, we can go ahead and applaud them. So a special congratulations to Lainey Deep, J.D. Haynes, Nina Johnson, and Charlie Noss for 4.0 for all three years. All right, it's my privilege now to hand this over to Ms. Sky Smith, who will begin our department awards with art. Hello, my name is Sky Smith, and I am the art teacher here at Eastwood. Today, I will be presenting the Art Top Scholar Awards to Dendai, Guy Mara Oliver, and Zoe Jessrick. From the first day I met Jendai, I knew she was going places. She is an excellent student and artist committed to improving her technique through practice and dedication. Because of her work ethic and creativity, her artworks have grown more and more exceptional every year I have known her. I'm looking forward to seeing what kinds of pieces she makes in the future. Congratulations, Jendai. I met Zoe as a sixth grader, and she has always been an outstanding student, both in regards to her artwork, but also her commitment to grow her knowledge of art history. She continuously strives to produce her best work, and I have been excited to see her drawings become more and more realistic with every piece. Her ability to be a reflective artist has led her to creating some stunning pieces. Zoe always strives for excellence in all aspects of art. Congratulations, Zoe. Good afternoon. I am Rachel Drum, one of our eighth grade language and literature teachers, and I have two top scholars to give out today. First, I would like to recognize Harley Knox as one of my top scholars. Charlie has maintained a 100% over the course of the school year, which I've had only once before in my years here at Eastwood. 
He consistently exceeds expectations on all of our assignments, and his competitive nature pushes him to work on a task until it's absolutely perfect. Charlie has grown tremendously as a reader and as a writer this year, and has truly earned the title of top scholar in my team this year. Congratulations, Charlie. My second top scholar award goes to Tiana Bryant. Tiana finished off this school year with a combined average of 95% in language and literature. She is, above all else, an incredibly hard worker who puts her whole heart into her learning. She read with intention, she wrote with passion, and she genuinely cares about her education. I'm so proud of everything she accomplished this year in our class. Congratulations. <laughs> now Mrs. Forsey will give her award for top scholar. Hello everyone, I'm Jennifer Forsey, the other language and literature teacher for eighth grade. My first top scholar that I would like to recognize is Max Bolt. In addition to Max's stellar academic performance, I was able to witness on many occasions um, the leadership that he exhibited with his peers, um, often in a breakout room, which is quite the feat this year. Um, and I'm just really very proud of him. He, um, congratulations. <laughs> And then the other top scholar I'd like to recognize is Kaylee Evans. <laughs> so in addition also to Kaylee's excellent academic performance um, in language and literature, Kaylee, um, I'm sorry, advocates for herself in a manner that gives greater shape and depth to every assignment that she works on. Thank you, Kaylee. Congratulations. Good afternoon. I'm Ms. Tipton, your eighth grade TARP writing teacher. I have two awards to give today. At first, I'd like to recognize Deja Tyler as one of my top scholars. I'm not sure if Deja's here. Um, Deja committed 100% effort to maintain excellent grades despite the challenge of working virtually during the entirety of her eighth grade year. Deja self-advocated throughout the school year and was always engaged via Zoom, asking clarifying questions and produced excellent work. She exemplified a true commitment to learning during a very challenging school year. You'll do amazing thing, do amazingly at anything you put your mind to. Congratulations, Deja. My second top scholar award goes to Cassandra Hunt. Cassandra. <laughs> um, Cassandra also demonstrated 100% effort to maintain excellent grades despite the challenges of working virtually during the entirety of her eighth grade year. She has demonstrated a commitment to engage in learning virtually throughout the semester, produced excellent writing, and maintained an A average throughout the second semester. I don't know if Cassandra's here, but I know you'll be successful in whatever you put your mind to as well. Congratulations, Cassandra. Hi, I'm Mary Burtwistle, and I have the pleasure of being one of the eighth grade math teachers, and I have two awards to give. The first, I would like to recognize Kata White as one of my top scholars. <laughs> approached math class with an inquisitive mind. She has carefully reviewed her work and asked questions when she needs clarification. It has been a pleasure to see her grow as a mathematician. Congratulations. My second top scholar award goes to Lainey Gates. consistently worked to understand and demonstrate knowledge in geometry. She has been a risk taker and, be, and has become a better mathematician because of it. Congratulations. Next, we have the math award for Mr. A. 
Well, uh, Mr. Guiley, my top scholar are um, Allison Guerrero Hernandez. Allison was virtual all year, but it felt like she was actually in the classroom because she participated like no other. She gave 100% effort and made me super proud every single day. Congratulations. Yeah. My second top scholar is Nina Johnson. It was a competitive field of mathematicians this year, but Nina stood out amongst them all because of her note taking. It was like superb notes. If you ever need help taking notes, Nina is your person. And her hard work and dedication to mathematics. So congratulations, Nina. Strength and honor, young friend. My name is Kevin Jones, and I am one of the IES, our Individuals and Societies teachers here. My first top scholar is Jorge Vasquez Rosario. <laughs> Jorge, throughout the entire year, has shown that he is a passionate leader and a creative thinker. He is a true classroom leader who has shined. Congratulations for him. My second top scholar is Matthew Chapatal. I have been blessed in that Matthew is the last one of the Chapatal family that I have taught and it has been a joy and an honor. Matthew is an engaging young student who has made, tremendous, and made a tremendous impact in the classroom learning environment. His classroom leadership, which is quiet, is still felt by all and will truly be missed next year. Congratulations. <laughs> and now for my compatriot, Mr. Rickard. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Mr. Rickard, and it's my privilege to present awards uh, to students for excellence in history and IES class. Uh, first, I'd like to recognize uh, two students uh, who participated in the regional uh, National History Day competition, Theodore Childers Arnold and Eli Burrell. Eli was further a regional award winner and advanced to the state competition. Now I'd like to recognize uh, one of my top scholars, J.D. Haynes. <laughs> J.D. De demonstrates exceptional historical understanding, the ability to interpret complex documents and texts, as well as constructing cohesive narratives from multiple perspectives. Uh, additionally, he selflessly helps others, demonstrates leadership in the classroom, and shows kindness to all with whom he interacts. My other top scholar award goes to Tomas Morales Ramirez. Tomas, uh, as his classmates know, is truly a historian and is often reading books on history during breaks in class, seeking to construct and enhance his own historical knowledge and interpretation. We've enjoyed many conversations with Tomas on different topics in history and his dedication to academic excellence in history is exceeded by few. <laughs> My 
I have one other award to give each year, 2020 notwithstanding, the Jonathan Jennings chapter of the National Society for the Daughters of the American Revolution acknowledges an eighth grade student at Eastwood Middle School with a certificate for a certificate of award for outstanding achievement in American history. The student selected this year demonstrated superior research skills and creativity in her pursuit of historical conception and understanding. It's a privilege to present this award to Samantha Salfrank. Hey everybody, my name is Mr. Snow, eighth grade science teacher. It's so fantastic to see everybody here. Some of you who I've only seen on Zoom are a lot taller than I assume. Some of you are a lot shorter. Um, that's okay though, how do I look? <laughs> hey, so my first top scholar is Jayla Jordan. Jayla is a very quiet and thoughtful, which helps a lot in science. She's inquisitive and also a great communicator. Her work is detailed and precise, and she has a great attitude with others. Congratulations, Jayla. My next stop scholar is Natalie Stevenson. Natalie has a 100% in science class. She's hardworking and dedicated to achieving excellence in science. She is a problem solver. She has a mindset that leads her to success in the classroom. She's curious, open-minded, and willing to accept risk to further her thinking. Congratulations, Natalie. Good afternoon. I'm Mrs. Sully. My first top scholar today is Tomas Morales Ramirez. of the entire year, completing 100% of his assignments. He was always an active participant in class and would seek to lift uh, those around him. Thomas, Thomas finished the year with a 100.54%. Um, my second top scholar is Gabby Stevens. year. Gabby completed 100% of her assignments at an extremely high level. Independently working through difficult curriculum, Gabby was diligent in studying for DSR quizzes and winning bonus points through Kahoot game. Gabby finished the year with 101.69%. If John O'Huddy and Ryan Jacoby could please come to the stage. I am the proud Science Olympiad coach for Eastwood Middle School. These two young men have been on the Science Olympiad team in their sixth, seventh, and eighth grade years. But, to, but this year, they did some outstanding accomplishments. They received first place in an activity called Game On, where they, have, they were giving a topic and in 50 minutes, they have to develop a game. They actually won first place out of 36 teams in the state of Indiana. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> what I think is even more of an amazing accomplishment, I believe they actually won this event twice. Because at about 12 o'clock on Saturday afternoon, after they had done that event at 8 o'clock in the morning, they, we received a email saying that the system had crashed and that the teams would have to redo their event. So at four o'clock after they had done Science Olympiad events all day, they went home and was given a new topic and had to develop a new game. So I am very, very proud of them. So Ryan and Janu, here are your first place medals. And since everything was virtual, they did not get to have an awards program. So I'm giving them their first place medals that they would have gotten at state. 
One last thing. I um, actually do individual awards for all the students, and you guys get making science fun around the world one game at a time. I will get you these to your house so you don't have to take them on the bus. Give them one more round of applause. Hello, I'm Mrs. Metzger. I'm the orchestra teacher, for those of you that don't know. I would first like to recognize Piper Ferringer. Piper has always been responsible with her work and at the top of her class. She's always prepared and a leader in the orchestra, and she always liked a good joke with me. Congratulations. My second award, I'd like to recognize Ella Angel. Ella has really grown as a violist and made great strides even in the virtual setting all year. Ella has one of the highest grades in advanced orchestra and will continue her, success, her successes in the festival orchestra at North Central next year. Congratulations. Good afternoon, my name is Jackie Darbrow and I am the resident choir director here at Eastwood and I have the honor of presenting my first award to Mr. Kendall Coleman. <laughs> Kendall Coleman never gives up. He has triumphed over multiple hurdles that are always unique to the singing male voice, and he always encouraged his fellow singers to try and try harder yet again. He will be missed in Intermediate Choir. Continuing in Intermediate Choir, I want to present my next award to Ms. Sanaya DeWitt, who is home. Um, but Sanaya DeWitt quietly leads. Oh, is she here? Here she comes. I think she was not. Okay. Um, she quietly leads. Many would never know that she has a glorious lyrical tone hiding in there and rarely has ever missed a note, let alone an assignment. As a matter of fact, she's never even missed one point. My next honoree is Miss Ava Dykus from Treble Show Choir. <laughs> Ava Dykus is a wonder and a whirlwind. She balances Irish step dancing competitions, teaching Irish step dancing, keeping up her grades, and for us leading by example as a section leader in the mezzo section of our Treble Choir. She fights through injury and illness and coaches from the sideline when even she is sidelined even willing to perform, sometimes from a chair. <laughs> Moving into mixed show choir, I come to Mr. Blake Noss. In my 28 years of music education, Blake Noss is hands down, including high school students, the finest male section leader that I've ever had. He leads by example, he leads through patience and diligence, and he is willing to step back and step out and coach everyone who needs help, because that's who Blake is. Success for all. You will see this name in bold print someday, and that is Miss Hannah Hunter. <laughs> Hannah Hunter is not only a section leader in the advanced mixed choir, she consistently, every time she has been able to attend solo and ensemble, received a gold rating and sings like no one I've ever seen before at this level. So be ready, world, because here comes Hannah Hunter. Hello, I'm Laura Vanderhagen, the band director here at Eastwood. 
I would like to recognize our intermediate band top scholar, Abdu Sek. <laughs> Abdu has been an excellent addition to our band and has had great grades and conduct throughout his years here at Eastwood. He's done very well with every assignment we've ever had and is a great leader in our class. Abdu always steps up to help out in class, asks for clarification when he needs it, and to help other students in the room. He's a great clarinet player, and I wish him the best success in his future. You can stand there if you want to be seen on the video for a moment. Abdu, everyone. <laughs> My next top scholar is for advanced band, and that is Aubrey Hammeter. <laughs> Aubrey is a very strong, knowledgeable trumpet player. She's taken private lessons and done solo and ensemble in the past. Aubrey is a true inquirer, and it's been a pleasure to see her knowledge and skill in music blossom over the years. She has consistently high grades in band and no missing assignments. She's a quiet leader and very dependable in all that she does. Aubrey, we truly missed in our band program. Congratulations and best of luck in high school. We are now moving to the Memorial Award part of the presentation. So we have a, a Memorial Award to recognize students that are overall just wonderful human beings and great additions to the Eastwood family because they are being recognized in honor of Juan Keebler, the band director here for 41 years. He was an integral part of our school community. He did the yearbook. He was an all-around wonderful person. So the two people that are going to be recognized with the Juan Keebler Memorial Award are Ryan Jacoby and Stanley Fort. <laughs> These two young men are some of the most caring and intelligent students I've ever worked with. They're excellent musicians and have done great work to build their musicianship skills over the three years they've been in band at Eastwood. Ryan and Stanley have both participated in virtual solo ensemble this year, which was a really challenging thing to do. And I'm really proud of the steps they've taken to get better every year. They are true assets to not only our band, but our school and are very involved in other extracurricular activities challenging academic classes, and are both truly exemplifying what it means to be an Ivy learner and Eastwood Eagle. I wish them both the best as they continue North Central and the band program. Susan Day was a 30-year music educator. 18 years of her music education time was spent here at Eastwood Middle School, which shows a dedication to excellence and a commitment to hard work. Anyone who has sung in a choir for any length of time can tell you that a choir moves from good to great if they function as a team, which means we must encourage each other to be our very best at all times. Here at Eastwood, we honored her memory not only with the courtyard, but also by selecting the student that we feel best shows the attributes not only of the IB learner, but also can prove themselves as a dedicated musician, teammate, and someone who seeks and presses others to join her in excellence. The 2021 recipient of this award has shown great leadership skills, a tenacity to perform with a beautiful voice, the ability to teach choreography and raise the bar for those around her in a most inclusive and respectful way. She has even ensured that her successor is ready for next year. It is a great honor to name Miss Nola Boyle for this award. She is truly <laughs> She is truly a tremendous asset to any and every ensemble, and she will greatly be missed. Hello, I'm Mrs. Clippinger, one of the friends. 
French teacher here at Eastwood, and I'm excited to present the award for top French scholar this year. Um, and that is going to Eleanor Worthington. <laughs> so Eleanor has performed at an exemplary level um, in all aspects, of, all aspects of the language this year. Um, she is a class leader who exhibits, excuse me, exhibits a genuine respect and enthusiasm for the language and culture. So Eleanor, I'm very proud of everything you've achieved and I wish you all the best. Hello, I'm Mr. Anello. I teach Advanced Spanish and Heritage Spanish, and I have the honor of awarding the top scholar for Advanced Spanish, and it goes to Daily Joy. I don't believe she's here today. Hopefully she's watching. She was wonderful to have in class. She exceeded expectations on assignments and projects. Everything was done early. There were many of you that could have gotten it, and um, I wish her the best, and hopefully she is watching. For Heritage Spanish, the award goes to Marlene Zenobio. She was also wonderful to have in class. She exceeded expectations. She was a model for other students of what my expectations were. She went over and above projects, readings, and occasionally when I would come across during our class readings and a word that I'd never seen before, she would help me sound it out and uh, help me with the terminology. Good afternoon, my name is Jennifer Amstutz and I teach sixth, seventh, and eighth grade reading. But before I present my class awards, I'd like to present the English as a New Language Awards on behalf of Miss Sarah Pritz. I am thrilled to recognize Marlene Sonobio Bernabe as Mrs. Pritz's top scholar. <laughs> Marlene is the true example of what it means to be principled. She is responsible in her studies, and she demonstrates honesty and integrity in all she does in the classroom. Congratulations, Marlene, on your accomplishments. I would also like to recognize Han Haley Wynn as the most improved ENL scholar this year. Kaylee has grown tremendously in her reading, writing, speaking, and listening skills this year. She has transformed from a quiet participant in class to a risk taker who offers to lead the class in reading and discussions. It has been a pleasure to watch Kaylee grow as a student this year. Congratulations, Kaylee. Next, I'd like to present the most improved reading student for my eighth grade class, Deshaun Ford. Deshaun battled through all the challenges of virtual learning and still managed to improve by nearly two grade levels in NWEA. Every class, Deshaun takes detailed notes and participates thoughtfully in class discussions. Congratulations, Deshaun, and keep up the great work. And lastly, I'd like to present this year's top reading student in my class, Zymira Mason. <laughs> Zymira has consistently completed all assignments. And when challenges with technology arose, worked hard to quickly catch up. Zymira's tenacity has resulted in tremendous NWEA growth as she ended eighth grade with the average reading score of a high school junior. Congratulations, Zymira, and I wish you all the best. Hi, I'm Julie Grissom, and I teach physical education and health, and I have the great pleasure of announcing the top physical education scholar. Maddie Summers, will you make your way up, please? Maddie was a hardworking, caring, and principled student who excelled in class. She always gave 110% and did it with a smile. 
Her positive attitude was contagious and she maintained that every day in class. She is an excellent example of a leader among her peers. Congratulations to you, Maddie, and thank you for being principled and always working hard. Jorge Vasquez Rosario, you please make your way up. Jorge was a pleasure to have in class. He was my go-to guy. He was always willing to fill in where needed, and he consistently put forth his best effort every day in class. His positive attitude and spirit to be a risk taker was a shining example to others. Congratulations to you, Jorge, and thank you for your willingness to be flexible and open-minded. My name is Alex Dunphy. I'm an engineering teacher here. Uh, this year's top scholar for automation and robotics goes to a very special student. I'm proud to present this award to Jamil West. highly deserving due to his hard work ethic, willingness to try new things, and passion for hands-on activities. Congratulations again, Jamil. scholar for design and modeling class goes to a student whose quiet confidence and natural creative mind was hard not to notice. I am proud to present this award to Gwen Schwartz. <laughs> Gwen has a beautifully intelligent mind, kind soul, and a bright future ahead, whether that be in engineering or wherever she finds her passion in life. Congratulations, Gwen. Good afternoon, I'm Mr. Feeney, I'm the other engineering teacher. I'd like to recognize Martin Drew for Computer Science for Innovators and Innovators. <laughs> He's maintained an A average as the highest level of academic achievement throughout the course of the semester, consistently demonstrates the character values of reflective with the depth and detail that he puts into his project planning and sketching. He's also knowledgeable in the course content and expanded his projects with additional coding and attributes. Positive attitude and desire to learn is an absolute pleasure to teach. Congratulations. I'd also like to recognize Nina Johnson for App Creator. She's produced exemplary work throughout the course of the semester, consistently demonstrated the character values of thinker with her critical analysis and approach to solving problems. She's also balanced in her planning to meet deadlines. Having a student with a work ethic and natural drive has inspired me as an educator. Congratulations. Although uh, Mrs. Johnson and I are up here presenting the Outstanding Improvement Award, I want everyone to know that this was an eighth grade team effort, that all of your eighth grade teachers had input and gave input. This award is given to those students that we felt went above and beyond in improvement. They um, academically uh, and attitude. 
So I'm very proud to announce Constance Barnwell. Gabriela Caballero Juarez. Christian Felix. Deshaun Ford. Alexander Goulet. Layla Marti. Sautoma. Rihanna Pace. And JR1, Jeremiah Reed. Congratulations to all of you. It's Ms. Grissom again, and as executive producer of the Eastwood News, it is my honor to announce the winner of the DMP Award, which is awarded to a student who has provided service through technology to Eastwood Middle School. Jayla Jordan, would you please come up? <laughs> Jayla was a hardworking risk taker on the news crew who always put forth 100% effort in all her work. She was always willing to be flexible and help out in any way that was needed. Congratulations to you, Jayla, and thank you for all of your hard work and willing to take risks and lend a helping hand. Rachel Drum, and I am announcing the winner of the eighth grade poem. Uh, contest. So, an ongoing tradition here at Eastwood for our eighth grade writers to submit poems in a poetry competition in the search for one outstanding class poem. The goal of this competition is for our students to create a poem that represents the middle school experience of that particular group of eighth graders. Once selected, the poem is signed by the entire class, framed, and hung in the hallways of Eastwood, forever representing that year's class. This year's winner to be remembered forever in our hallway is Martin Drew. <laughs> Martin's going to read his poem for everyone. is called The Eagle, and it's about Eastwood and school spirit and things. Um, Glorious the eagle flies, a bold whisper among the skies, carrying the spirit of our school since 55. The eagle guided all of us on our first days from car or bus, and as we walked to our first classes, the eagle saw us in the masses. And everything we ever learned, every victory we earned, the eagle watched it flying true, up above the white golden blue. They continued to teach and we continued to grow, trying to know all that we could know. When hammers pounded on the walls, construction filled Eastwood's halls. We carried on and tried our best, the eagle watched us take our test. And when the virus forced us home, forced us to learn from Zoom, the eagle held our spirit safe and watched our knowledge bloom. The memories that we have made are strong and built to last. Our love for the school will never fade. The Eagle made sure of that. Now that we at last return, we have to say goodbye. But as we leave, we'll look up 
and see the eagle in the sky, carrying the spirit of our school since 55. Before we begin the procession of our eighth grade students, we have two additional 4.0 awards that sadly I overlooked in the reading. And so I would like to bring up Tristan Wilson and Gwen Dorn. Congratulations on your 4.0 for the duration of your eighth grade year. All right, we're going to begin with our procession of student names. When your name is called again, you'll be walking on the stage and elbow bumping Mr. Tutt. Sierra Adams. Blake Augustine. Angeli Augustine. Moises Waddle Juarez. Angel Alberto, Lucy Allen, Ellie Ella Angel, Jamar Atkins, Hayden Bailey, Caitlin Ball, Nadia Ball, Max Baltz, Joanna Bargan. Robert Beasley, Amaya Bell, Soleil Black, Deadrian Booker, Shawnee Bowling, Nola Boyle, Gwyneth Breedlove, Cameron Brookins, Xavion Brooks, Ashlyn Brown, Constance Barnwell, Xavion Brooks. Ashlyn Brown, Francis Brown, Lamont Brown, Maya Brownlee, Tiana Bryant, Jasmine Bull, Caleb Bunting, Stephen Burke, Eli Burrell, Corbin Butts, Tanaja Byers, Gabriella Caballera Juarez, Zion Kane. Keith Caldwell, Caleb Campbell, Kendrick Carpenter, Kevin Torino Salazar, Jeffrey Harder, Leonardo Castellona, Amaya Chandler, Matthew Chapatal, Jeremiah Cheatham, Theodore Childers Arnold, Anna Clark. Walter Clark, Kirsten Clemens, Alana Coleman, Kendall Coleman, Justin Collins, Carson Copeland, Natalie Cousin, Leah Cox, Savannah Cox, Hannah Crossland, Alan Puizo. Antonio Juarez, Anahai Quadal Alonzo, Amani Darden, Andrew David, Florian David, Sophia David, Alicia Davis, Avery Diarman, Lainey Dietz, Josiah Delgado, Grace Demery, Silas Denton, Zoe Deseret, Jackson DeWeese, Sanaya DeWitt, Jaden Digby, 
Jane Dinwiddie, Connor Dobbins, Ashton Doris, Jack Downton, Martin Drews, Devin Dumas, Taliesin Dunn, Ava Dykus, Robert Dawson, Cadell Easterday, Cadence Eaton, Evan Eichhorn, Jadis Evans, James Evans, Kaylee Evans, Vincent Evans, Christian Felix, Jamia Felix, Piper Ferringer, Abel Klesner, Deshaun Ford, Dwayne Ford, Amelia French, Abigail Fuller, Abraham Galdemez, Anthony Gerardo Antunes, Fronsley Gaudero, Conrad Gelhausen, Anaya Golston, Yuri Gibbons, Naima Gilbert, Angel Gonzalez Felix, Alexander Goulet, Kyra Grant, Zerika Green, Kevin Griffin, Nehemiah Griffin, Allison Guerrera Hernandez. Carrie Grissom, Jindai Gaimera Oliver, J.D. Haynes, Jonathan Hamilton, Aubrey Hamater, Sahira Hampton, Focus Hadagihima, Quentin Hatfield, Austin Hurd, Connor Hedge, Marshawn Henderson, Morgan Hinkles, Unique Henson, Ashton Hertenstein, Anasia Hill, Emery Cox Roberts, Amal Hole, Denim Holtz, Carla Hopkins, Breon Howard, Destiny Humphrey, Cassandra Hunt, Kamaya Hunt, Nia Hunter, Hannah Hunter, Janu Huddy, Perry Ingram, Grace Isaacson, Samuel Isaacson, Dante Jackson, Ryan Jacoby, Lennon Santos James, Asher Johnson, Elijah Johnson, Miles Johnson, Nina Johnson, Terrell Johnson, DJ Jones, Jalen Jones, Michael Jones the third, Jayla Jordan, Daily Joy, Dulce Juarez Zeke, Damu Pa Kai, Carson Kaufman, Chelsea Knox, Elizabeth Kramer, Elijah Keebler, Stephen Quad, Anastasia Laughter, Sam Lamar, Ayana Lamar Murdoch. Peyton Landers, Nyla Lang, Layla Lartiz, Ernest Lebo, Delaney Little, Lamaria Lewis, Kendon Lester, Salray Lynn, Sota Ma, Terry Macklin, Magana Ramirez, Ted Mannion, Macy Manzel, Seraphine Manuel, Sandra Marcial, Kane McClure, Zamira Mason, Ricardo Martinez, Aviana Mason, Micah McDermott, Hunter Moore, Tomas Ramirez, Aliyah Mitchell,
Kevin Morales, Secundanio. Irving Munguia. Blake Knox. Charlie Knox. Amir Najira. Kaylee Wynn. Joa Nianti. Christopher Osolato. Brian Pace. Brianna Pace. Carla Pan. Mia Herskevias. Josh Patton, Bryn Hall, November Hall, Anthony Pennick, Helen Peraza Argueta, Jesse Plu, Stanley Port, Janaya Powell, Aaron Pryor, Demi Purnell, Janaya Reed, Jeremiah Reed, Bay Ray. Jackie Reyes, Betsy Reyes, Roderick Rose, Trinity Richardson, Flora Rivera, Kennedy Reeves, Kenise Roberson, Jocelyn Rodriguez, Ruby Rogers, Kevin Rodon Vasquez, Barry Romero, Diego Rosado Alvarez, Natalie Rosales, Rodonia Rubio, Samantha Salfrank, David Martinez, Layla Sanders Micken, Robert Sanders, Jaden Saxton, Glenn Short, Abdu Sex, Kenneth Sellers, Marlene Sinovia Bernabe. Chantel Seymour, Cameron Shiplett, Jeremy Silcox, Lucas Silvius, London Sims, Nyla Smalls, Amelia Smith, Antonio Smith, Genevion Smith, Kayla Smith, Madeline Summers, Braden Spradley, Gabby Stevens, Natalie Stevenson, Emerson Stickle, Jordan Stout, Tashawn Swift, Maddie Pam, Trinity Taylor, Jose Tello Tello, Hillary Teru, Amaya Torrance, Melanie Toxi Ultulot, Ezrin Turner Williams, Deasia Tyler, Garrett Olam, Alexis Valdez Benitez, Elijah Vandiver, Jorge Vasquez Zorio, Jeffany Vincent, Kiera Wells, Jamil West, Jada White, Maria Wilkerson, Amarion Williams, Faith Williams, Kobe Williams, Lila Wilson. Tanner Wilson, Tristan Wilson, Olivia Wimenauer, Anya Winters, Jeremiah Witherspoon, Sam Wolf, Eleanor Worthington, Henry Worthington, and Emily Wright. Congratulations to all of our eighth grade students moving on to ninth grade next year. It's just one of the most pleasant times of, uh, of my year is to get to be able to experience this with you and participate in it. I'm going to have bruises on my elbow tomorrow, but I will recover. Um, one of the things I, I always like to think about is uh, I know that we love to celebrate the individual efforts, but none of those individual efforts are solo efforts. And what I mean is... Uh, there are people that are in all of those classes that help with us all learn and grow. And you should be very proud of the opportunities that you have uh, been able to experience and also support your fellow classmates this year. 
I'm really interested in hearing how things go for you in your next four years at high school and wish you all the best. And so at this time, we will conclude our event. Congratulations to all of our eighth graders in uh, this effort that you have in middle school. Give yourself a round of applause.